come with me to the Holy Land and walk the paths of God. Jeremiah, why do you weep? Leave me alone. Can't you see? I'm drinking my life away. You do know that doesn't have any alcohol in it, right? Now, tell me what troubles you. I just... I just feel lost. Like I don't know who I am or where I fit in. Ah, I once knew a man who was on the exact same path. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a man named Moses. He wandered around aimlessly for 40 years looking for somewhere to belong. His only food was unleavened bread, but it was enough to sustain him on his long and difficult journey. And eventually, he found his way to the promised land. The end. That can't be the end of the story. Oh, I assure you it is. Let me see that. Oh, wait, there is some more. Let's see. Moses has an argument with his sister Miriam. God gives her leprosy until she apologizes. Oh, wait, here we are. Moses carried a heavy burden until he couldn't take it anymore and begged God to end his suffering. Why have you treated your servant so badly? Why have I not found favour in your eyes that you would place the burden of this entire people upon me? Did I conceive these people? Did I give birth to them that you say to me, carry them in your bosom? If this is the way you treat me, please kill me. If I have found favour in your eyes, so that I not see my misfortune. What else? The people get drunk and break all the commandments. And eventually, they all happily find their way to the promised land. The end. Wait, what? That's what it says, I don't know what to tell you. So, what you're saying is, if I follow the path God gives me, eventually I'll find my way to the promised land? Well actually, as punishment, God made Moses live out the rest of his life outside of it. I don't understand. What lesson should I take from all this? I guess the lesson is, be glad your sister doesn't have leprosy. Oop, 
That's my tram. Got to go. Wait! Who are you? Just an old friend.